I try to always let students know why we're doing what we're doing. But it's, especially with artwork, it's all subjective. That's what makes it so fun. My name is Kate Van Steenhouse, and I am an artist. I make abstract paintings. Um, I teach painting and drawing here at Wichita State, and I also co-founded Harvester Arts, which is a nonprofit art space, and we're not really a gallery. We don't sell anything. We bring artists to town for two weeks, and they um, the idea is that they make work in our space, and it's not a lot of time to make something, and it's certainly not a lot of time to make an entire gallery full of something. So the work that gets made is typically kind of rough around the edges, and we think that's part of the fun. I think that when people can understand process and when we can understand how ideas are formed and how they grow and change, um, I think it enriches the experience, but I also think that it, uh, when, when others have access to that process, it, it expands the sense of creative agency. So other people can tap into, oh, you know, that makes sense. I see how this person got that idea and how it turned into this. I like to emphasize the process of figuring something out and making sense of something. When you're looking at my paintings, the idea is that you are immersed in this, this world that just exists on this canvas. So there's no outside like, oh, well, here's a historical reference. Social media, news media, all of those talk pundit shows where it's like people are constantly shouting at you or telling you what to think. And the act of forming your own opinion is probably the most important thing we can do as individuals. So that's never that something is wrong. It's more just, well, if you're trying to realistically paint this still life, you should try this, this, and this. But if you do this, this, and this, you can get a different effect. You know, there's just, try to just expose people to as many options as possible um, while hopefully giving them the practical tools to, <laughs> to get the results they want. The act of making abstract art and the act of supporting and showing and, and making art a part of our world, that is incredibly political. And I think it's something that people have to hold on to and, and own as their, not just their right, but their obligation.